folks, Rob Bushway with GottaBeMobile.com here. We're going to take a look at the OQO, the SSD version, and a hard disk version. And we're going to compare a lot of different tests from startup, shutdown, hibernate, standby, application loading, and all of that good stuff between these two computers. Before we get started, of course, we need to send a, a shout out to our sponsor TechSmith. I invite you to go to TechSmith.com and check out Camtasia Studio and Snagit and give their fine products a try. I think you'll be very impressed. I know we are at Gotta Be Mobile and we use their products everywhere we can. So, to set this up, I have got a 1.6 gigahertz um, 32 gigabyte SSD drive um, Model O2O from o uh, Model O2 from OQO. Then over here, I've got a 1.5 gigahertz, uh, 60 gigabyte hard drive, 4200 RPM. So this is a hard disk drive, and this is a solid state drive. Now I think you'll be very surprised at the performance differences between these two machines, everywhere from startup to shutdown to application loading. And as good as uh, charts and timing and all of that stuff will, will do, actually seeing it um, on tape um, cannot be beat. So we're going to spend some time doing it. You're going you're gonna to see, see a lot of startup shutdown and things like that. So just, so just um, bear with me as we go through these things. Uh, we need to really take these things in. Uh, the best way possible is to watch it happening. Um, and towards the end of the end of the show, I'll go over some uh, disappointments in regards to the SSD version that I was hoping would have would would actually be um, be improved, and they're not. Um, so that gives us some room for improvement in the future. So let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to zero in on these two computers. And I'll be sure to to um, to uh, continue to point out which one's the solid state and which one's the hard disk um, version, uh, the hard disk drive version. Okay. All right. Before I get started, I should probably point out what these two um, Model O2s are sitting on. The SSD version, the one in the dock, is sitting on a docking station that you can purchase from OQO and it basically slides in uh, the dock like, like that and so you have that, that's the docking station and then over here on this one on the hard disk drive version, the 1.5 gigahertz HDD version this is a uh, desktop stand that you can buy from ProClip and I'll include the uh, URL in the show notes, but this is a ProClip stand. And basically it's, um, it's an alternative to, to a dock. And um, it's actually very nice, lightweight. They also sell car mounts and things like that. So it's a very, very useful stand that I use quite a bit at the office. Um, so that's what, that's what they're, they're sitting on. So now that I've messed up all my angles and stuff, <laughs> we'll go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing that I'm going to do is we're just going to start them up. And uh, we're going to see how fast it takes them. So, uh, over here on this side, we have the SSD version. And then in the ProClip stand, uh, we have the hard disk drive version. So I'm going to press the start button on both of them at the same time, and we're just going to watch them. And here they go. Now watch, watch the different things, watch the logo, watch the windows come up up here, here on the SSD, and it still hasn't come up on the, the hard disk drive version. Still working on it. Okay, 
this one has gone away at the same time that this one just started coming up. Okay, so we're about to log on here on the SSD. There we go, we have the log on screen. Welcome. And there we go, we've got a screen ready to go. And we are all set to work. And I can already tell them I have to adjust my lighting here just a little bit. So I can go ahead and double click Word. and could go ahead and get started, but I'm not going to double click Word yet because I want to do my testing without any caching or anything like that. So you can tell there's a remarkable difference in the boot up times. Very, very interesting. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead, we're going to um, do some, some standby and some shutdown and some hibernate. And to do that, I'm going to take the I'm going to take the plugs out. Now let's go to um, we're going to go over here to standby or sleep. And I'm going to see if I can press them both at the same time so that we can watch the differences between going into sleep and then coming back out of sleep. Okay. And let's go ahead and go to sleep. And they're both Okay, SSD1 I can tell has already gone into sleep because the power button is dimming and stuff like that, fans off. This one just went to sleep. So going to sleep on this SSP is faster. Now let's take them out of standby. SSD. I did not press the other one um, in time. Let's do that one more time so we can see if there's any difference. Actually not. You know what? It, it's not that big of a difference. Um, we're we're going to skip that one. Let's send them into hibernate. See what they do in hibernate. Hibernate is a much lower power consumption while it's in standby. I mean, while it's in hibernate, it doesn't use up near the power. Okay, it is still trying to load some things up here for some reason on the hard disk drive version. Go into Control Alt Delete, and we will choose Hibernate. Let's hibernate them both. And let's see, I'm going to look. 